In an era marked by economic depression and rising tensions, a single event in 1939 sparked the flames of the deadliest conflict in human history. As we cast our minds back to the late 30s, the world was a powder keg, just waiting for a spark. The Great Depression had plunged economies into chaos and tensions were escalating, particularly in Europe. It was within this climate of instability that Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party rose to power in Germany, promising stability, prosperity, and a return to former glory. Hitler's rise wasn't just marked by fiery rhetoric and promises though, his actions spoke volumes about his intentions. He began to rearm Germany, directly violating the Treaty of Versailles that had ended the First World War. His aggressive foreign policy, coupled with his ideological vision of a racially pure and dominant Germany, set the stage for conflict. In the midst of this mounting tension, a significant event took place in August 1939. The world watched in disbelief as two seemingly opposite forces, Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union, signed the Non-Aggression Pact. This agreement promised neutrality between the two powers if either found themselves in a war. It also secretly divided Eastern Europe into German and Soviet spheres of influence. Just days after this pact, on September 1, 1939, Hitler's forces invaded Poland. The German military, employing a strategy known as Blitzkrieg or Lightning War, swiftly overwhelmed the Polish defenses. This blatant act of aggression was the final straw for Britain and France. They had vowed to protect Poland's independence and so, two days later, they declared war on Germany. The invasion of Poland was not just an act of aggression, it was a statement to the world. It marked the start of a war that would span six long years, involve over 30 countries, and result in the deaths of millions. With the invasion of Poland, the world was thrust into a conflict that would change the course of history. As the conflict escalated, nations around the world were drawn into two opposing factions, the Allies and the Axis. The Allies were primarily composed of the United States, Great Britain, and the Soviet Union, though the group also included many other countries. The United States, initially determined to remain neutral, eventually joined the Allies following the attack on Pearl Harbor by Japan in December 1941. Great Britain, under the determined leadership of Prime Minister Winston Churchill, stood as a beacon of defiance against the Axis aggression. The Soviet Union, led by Joseph Stalin, was initially part of a non-aggression pact with Germany. However, this changed when Germany broke the pact and invaded the Soviet Union in June 1941, forcing the Soviets to join the Allies. On the other side of the battlefield were the Axis powers, primarily made up of Germany, Italy, and Japan. Germany, under the dictatorship of Adolf Hitler, sought to establish a new order of absolute Nazi-German hegemony in Europe. Italy, under Benito Mussolini, aimed to establish a new Roman Empire in the Mediterranean. Japan, driven by militaristic ambitions, sought to create a Greater East Asia co-prosperity sphere, a bloc of Asian nations led by Japan and free of Western influence. Each of these countries played a pivotal role in the shaping of the Second World War. The United States, with its industrial might, provided the Allies with much-needed supplies and manpower. Great Britain, with its vast empire and resilient spirit, was instrumental in resisting the Axis onslaught. The Soviet Union with its vast resources and manpower, played a key role in turning the tide against Germany on the Eastern Front. Meanwhile Germany, with its well-trained and technologically advanced military, was the primary aggressor in Europe. Italy, though not as militarily successful as Germany, contributed to the Axis cause through several campaigns. Japan, with its powerful navy and air force, brought the war to the Pacific, and was a formidable opponent for the Allies. The stage was set, the players in place and the world braced itself for a war of unprecedented scale. The clash of the Allies and Axis powers led to some of the most significant battles in human history. Let's take a closer look at these pivotal moments. First on our list is the Battle of Britain, a combat of attrition fought entirely in the skies. In the summer of 1940, the German Luftwaffe launched a series of relentless air raids on Britain, hoping to crush the Royal Air Force and pave the way for invasion. But the British stood their ground, their fighter pilots valiantly taking to the skies day after day. This battle marked the first major defeat of Hitler's military forces, and it significantly boosted the morale of the Allies. Then there's the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941. 
the Japanese hoped to cripple the U.S. Pacific Fleet and buy enough time to establish a formidable empire in East Asia before America could respond. However, this attack had the opposite effect. It galvanized the U.S., pushing them to officially enter the war and join the Allies. Next we turn to the brutal Battle of Stalingrad. From the summer of 1942 until early 1943, German and Soviet forces were locked in a bitter struggle for control of this Russian city. The battle was marked by fierce close-quarters combat and direct assaults on civilians by air raids. The Soviet victory marked a turning point in the war, halting the German advance into Eastern Europe and beginning a series of offensive operations by the Allies. Then came D-Day on June 6, 1944, when the Allies launched the largest seaborne invasion in history on the beaches of Normandy, France. Despite heavy casualties the Allies secured a foothold that allowed them to push forward into occupied Europe. This marked the beginning of the end for the Axis powers in Western Europe. Finally the Battle of the Bulge, fought in the winter of 1944 and 1945. This was Hitler's last major offensive in Western Europe, aiming to split the Allied forces and recapture the port of Antwerp. Despite initial successes, the German forces were eventually pushed back, depleting their reserves and leaving them unable to resist the subsequent Allied advance into Germany. Each of these battles played a crucial role in shaping the course of World War II. They represented the ebb and flow of power, the determination of nations, and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of overwhelming adversity. They were the moments when the tide turned, when strategies were tested, and when heroes were forged. Each battle, each decision, brought the world one step closer to the end of this devastating conflict. In 1945 after six years of relentless warfare, Wuntu came to a close, but its effects were far from over. The end of the war was marked by the surrender of two powerful nations. First, Germany waved the white flag in May, bringing an end to the conflict in Europe. Then, following the devastating atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan capitulated in September, ending the war globally. But the conclusion of the war did not mean the world could simply return to its pre-war state. The aftermath was a period of profound change and adjustment. Cities lay in ruins, economies were shattered, and the political landscape of the world was drastically altered. In an effort to maintain international peace and security, the United Nations was established in October of that same year. Its inception represented a new era of global cooperation and diplomacy a hopeful response to the devastation and chaos of the war years. But while the United Nations was a symbol of unity, the world was also becoming divided. The end of World War II set the stage for another significant conflict, the Cold War. Tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union began to rise, leading to a state of geopolitical tension that would last for the better part of the next half century. The long-term effects of World War II are still felt today. The war transformed the world in ways that continue to shape our lives. It spurred technological advancements, shifted power dynamics, and forever altered the course of human history. It left indelible marks on the collective memory of humanity, reminding us of the devastating cost of conflict. It also served as a powerful lesson about the importance of cooperation, diplomacy, and the pursuit of peace. As the dust settled, the world was forever changed bearing the scars of a war that shaped our present and continues to influence our future. In the span of a few short years, mankind witnessed a war that redefined the boundaries of power and reshaped the world. From the spark that ignited the conflict, the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, to the formation of two monumental alliances, the Allies and the Axis powers, the world was rapidly drawn into a global struggle. This war was characterized by key battles and turning points, such as the Battle of Stalingrad and the D-Day invasion, which shifted the tide and brought us closer to the conclusion. And then, we face the aftermath, a period of rebuilding, reparation and reflection that followed the end of the hostilities. The war left deep scars, but also gave birth to a new world order. It was a catalyst for change, sparking the creation of the United Nations and heralding a new era of international cooperation. When two was more than just a war, it was a testament to the resilience of humanity in the face of unimaginable adversity. As we remember those tumultuous years, we pledge to learn from our past to build a more peaceful future.